Hello. I'm still in the pet room. I have changed my tripod and now I have my iPhone sitting gently on the tractor feed mechanism of a Commodore 2022 series tractor printer. And to put it at just the right angle, I have a napkin stuck gently under the tractor feed because it leans forward a bit to let you put paper in and it's all good. So I'm in the pet room. And did I get a pet moved yesterday? Well, no, I didn't. But I did other good things. See, in here, on this table that I'm sitting at now, there used to be a humongous, heavy, 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 heavy plasma television. Uh, it's not here anymore. I've moved it to a better place. So this table is open for work and gathering of things and sorting of things. Because, of course, most everything else here has pets and things and accessories. Actually, I just found and moved in here the original box from the Amiga 2000. Actually, it might be a 2000 HD. Just a second. Uh, yes, it is. From an Amiga 2000 HD with a 2091, which, for those that don't know, that would be the Commodore hard drive board, uh, controller board, along with a hard drive. Anyway, the box is empty, but the, all the, I think all the uh, styrofoam is intact, so that's always handy. Anyway, today is a new day, but it's going to still be incredibly hot here. But I have some good news. I have not moved any pets, but I did start to go into the garage. And the beginning of the garage is mostly boxes and storage containers that are empty. So I will go through them. I've actually moved a bunch of them out so I can start to get in. That's where I got the Amiga 2000 HD box from. It was in there. And I do see another Amiga box in there, but I know it, it, it's empty. Don't worry. Um, and I will keep in there. I, I do want to get one pet out of there. It's still mighty early in the morning, so the temperatures are not miserable. One nice thing is I did look at the weather forecast, and after this time, these two days of heat alerts, it will get down to a normal kind of spring, summer type weather. So it shouldn't be so terrible. And I can move on and get her done. That is the plan. But um, chances are I might move the pet from upstairs down here. I'll see. You know, I, I, I mean, there's too much stuff in here. But then not enough stuff. So I don't want to get it to where I have stuff in here and then I can't do anything here. You know what I mean. So um, I'll see, but I do want to deal with the now the storage bins. A lot of them are the Rubbermaid and other time type of things, and I will try and find the matching lids, kind of like Tupperware, finding the lids, and seeing what's what. And it's, it's funny. I also I had a I did a trade show thing in here. Uh, and I, I continue on the tables. I basically took black sheets, put them over the tables, and that covers the sins that are under the table. Much like a trade show, where they have all their brochures and people's stuff and other stuff tucked under the table, also neatly with their little things. Anyway, so I, I did remove the one off of this table to wash it. And I will probably do that with more things before the picture is taken. And I cleaned the table. And that's all good. But... Also, when I look underneath the table, well, under this table, there is one really, really big storage container. And I can see that the plastic on the sides has some cracks and breaks in it. And it has, of course, some Commodore things in there. Uh, some of them 
have notes on them to be assessed. I haven't pulled it out. I haven't looked. I haven't done anything. I've got to work on the pets. Um, but so it may be that in this whole readjustment period and gathering things and doing things that I will end up making better use of the storage containers, but also ones that are rather deficient and defunct and, um, and broken can go. Now, funny thing is, it's a very hard thing to recycle one of these things. And I think they're recyclable. I don't know. I think they are. But if I put one out, just put it out, I don't think the recycling people will take it because they'll probably think I've been trying to just use it as a bin. And they wouldn't want to take the bin. <sighs> anyway, I suspect I'll do what I often do with things that I think someone else might like before the actual garbage or recycling day is, and that is I'll put it out two or three days ahead of time and then hope that it goes away because reusing is better. Or having somebody, you know, even if they're just going to take it and put firewood in it, do something. It's better to, to be reused than have to go to a government institution where it will be recycled or redirected to landfill. Anyway, so yes, I see a 128D down here. But I cannot be distracted at this time. So, um, yes, I will continue onward. I will wash the black sheet at some point. And chances are, over on this table right next to me, which you can't see, there are three pets and there's also a black sheet. And every table has a black sheet to hide what is underneath. And there's a lot of stuff underneath. I should do a little sweeping, too, because things have a way of drifting underneath. They do. Anyway, the beat goes on. I have started into the garage, which is a huge step. And as I said yesterday, I am looking to build momentum. And I believe momentum is slowly building, slowly, very, very slowly. At least after this first operation, and it's still not too incredibly hot, after this first little, small, tiny steps, um, I still feel like taking a few more tiny steps. And so I will. Um, as I say, it's still not beastly hot yet. I'm not sure what the next thing I will do is. Maybe I will head into the garage again. Maybe. Um, it isn't so important that I get the pets out of there. It's important that I make them accessible to get out of here, out of there, because they got to be here. Other things got to be here for the great family portrait. Um, but if I make it that I can't do anything in here, then I'll not do anything in here. And some of you will understand. Some of you will not understand. Anyway. <sighs> so, if you're in a hot area this fine day, or whatever day it is you're watching this, stay cool. Don't knock yourself out. Fans are good. Remember, fans do not cool a room. Fans cool people. So if you got a fan, it's all good to have air moving and all that. Then, but make sure that you are in front of that fan. And it's funny. I remember some years ago I was in a school setting and air conditioning was broken, and they didn't have a whole lot of fans. But departments had lent fans to other departments, and there was a classroom and they had this fan. And it was, you know, oscillating back and forth. But they had an end at the ceiling. Does nothing. Nothing at all. Moves the room around, the air around up there. But doesn't cool the people. And the students were getting antsy. So, 
Thanks so much for coming. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will continue to build and maintain and even uh, take bigger steps as I try to get the momentum up and running and continuing. There's so much to do. I should do it. Don't you think? Anyway, until we meet again, bye for now.